Okay, I'm going to make a new Maven project in IntelliJ. I'm going to make uh, a project about bicycles, so I'll call this uh, Bicycle FXML. This is going to be a JavaFX project using an FXML file to control the way it looks and a controller to uh, control what it does. Uh, setting the group ID is optional. Usually it's the reverse of a domain name, and I just don't like the word snapshot. It kind of clutters things up. Um, but I'm going to right click on the Java folder and add a JavaFX application because JavaFX is not included within the JDK beyond number eight, and this project is using JDK 11. So I'm going to go in a couple of places in IntelliJ and uh, make sure that it is set to use JDK 11. Uh, one in the project structure and one in the settings. And then I'm going to add a file uh, for basically for the Java code. This is going to be where all my methods are that control what happens for the program. I'm going to make one file for the markup of the way the JavaFX looks. Now in main.java, I'm basically going to tell it to load um, that FXML file. I'm going to do Alt Enter to import all of these things. And in the controller, I'm just going to make a real simple method to uh, output some text into a label. All this code is going to be provided in the comments. Uh, the FXML is what controls uh, how the form looks. Right, I'm going to run this and make sure everything's set up properly. And it does, in fact, work. Um, this isn't a full explanation of how JavaFX works and FXML works, but I'll just point out a couple things. This FX uh, controller in the FXML file needs to match the file name that we made there, controller. And then in main, that sample.fxml has to match the file name in the resources folder. And then some of the IDs uh, in the FXML file, like the label output and then the on action have to match up with the name that you give to the label and the method name in here. Um, 